Atlanta. I don't really love Trey Young as a player, but this team's going to be fun. They're going to be fast. They're going to be shooting the lights out the ball. You know, I think they have a lot of fun lineups they can do. They're going to spread the floor like crazy. Bogdanovich, I think, is a humongous signing for them. I love the Gallo signing. Maybe a little too much of the money, but I love the Gallo signing. And I love uh, you know, a Kung Fu for them. It makes a ton of sense. So I think this team in general is just, you, you see what it is on paper. Yeah, so a lot of people seemingly are, like, iffy about the Gallinari signing. And I, I get it. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, you know, it's probably two or three million more a year. And again, remember, the, the the secret that came out is that his last year is only guaranteed five million. Right. So that's a huge, that's a big deal. So Gallinari for two years, 20 million, and his third year, five million, if I'm getting these numbers right, maybe a million or two off. So that being said, you know, I think that this team's going to be fun. They're going to shoot the lights out the ball. They're going to spread the floor. I mean, Trey already creates a ton of space just shooting his ridiculously poor uh, percent of shots. And that in general, he's still a great passer. So, you know, by shooting these poor shots, he's able to at least create space by it, driving kicks all day long. Yeah. So Atlanta also has a ton of depth. Yep. So you got Trey, obviously Trey starting. So you got Bob Donovich, who's going to start next to him. Yep. You have uh, Gallo. You have either John- Reddish or Herder. You got John Collins. What, what, what are we talking about? So you got John Collins, Capella, Gallo, Bogdanovich, and Trey. Um, yep. There's rumors like Gallo might come off the bench or whatever. I don't understand. And I can hear before at this point. I don't see it. I feel like they're going to at least try this jumbo type lineup first with Gallo at the three. But then back to the depth. Like you said, you got Herder, Reddish, DeAndre Hunter, yeah. um, and a Kungu. So. I mean, that is a ton of depth, a little bit inexperience off the bench, but, like, they're guys that showed signs and have clear, like, skill sets that if you keep the game simple, which you can with having them come off the bench, like, they're valuable pieces. It's a team that just makes sense on paper, you know. uh, You know, games, uh, unfortunately, championships aren't won on paper, but on paper, you have the guy who shoots threes. You have the guy who plays, you know, interior defense. You have the guy, the wing defender, you can put out and play defense. You have the point guard that conditions spread the floor. You have pieces everywhere. Thanks for watching the Hardwood Herald on YouTube. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more hoops content.